bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Smile. You're I'm on smiling. camera. I'm smiling. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hola. So we were sitting here. What is this? Lucky Duck. Lucky Duck Chardonnay, I believe. And Mike, Carolyn's Mike, gave me this for Christmas. So thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. And we've. And this is how I opened it. You know, because I don't have an opener. <laughs> there's the thing. I used a screw. And, and a good old pliers. And some pliers, <laughs> and it took me and Terry both to open it up. You can tell. How, you can tell um, how much we drink wine. Yeah. Not a whole lot. I have actually a lot of bottles of wine at home, and I've actually got one in here that's. Um, I think we might do that on our anniversary on January 14th. Okay. Uh, we've been carrying this bottle of wine. It's called, I think it says Love on it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we got that in California before the, the wreck. Yeah. And I've, I didn't, I didn't take it out at home, and so maybe for our anniversary we'll finally crack that thing. It's been <laughs> rolling around in here. It's getting um, older and better. I used to collect wine bottles because I love the pictures on them. I don't usually drink it, but I just love the pictures on them. So I would collect certain types of wine for just the the artwork on it. Anyways, what are we doing? Well, we're not outside. We're not showing you guys uh, beautiful uh, landscape and all of that. It's cold. We're stuck. It's We're windy. We're stuck in the camper. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Sharon and Sal are in back of us. Dina, Steve, and the children are on the side of us. And I think that's it. We had a few other people here this morning. Dave, uh, Dave's RV Life, he was here. He has taken off. It's just so cold that there's, you know, it's hard to go out and walk around and find something to do. You know, and it's, it's windy. I, it's the, the wind. Thing. The cold, I can, it, it, yeah. it, it's just so really, really windy and cold. Right. And so. I hate wind. That's one thing I hate. He didn't like when he used to work, you know, he'd be he could handle snow and ice and Rain, freezing, yeah. freezing temperatures, but when the wind would kick up, he hated it. Yep. So, anyways, we thought we would go ahead and catch you guys up on a couple things. Yep. yep. Um, since we're kind of stuck in here, I was really lazy yesterday and um I wasn't lazy, I just I worked all day up in the up in the bed you know we still have our house at home so we still have things to do with that we still have all of our other you know personal stuff to deal with plus uh plus youtube youtube facebook <laughs> instagram i'm trying to get better at these things you guys i keep i get messages on instagram and facebook and i every time i go on there to answer them i get totally lost so i'm trying to learn that i'm trying to revamp everything i'm trying to get better with patreon thank you to all of our patrons who have stuck with us it's thank you it's just such a learning curve for me i i wasn't in the era of um computers you know i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys feel that way poor uh, scotty he was really not in the era no. he, he can't he it's hard for him to figure out and they said somebody said youtube wasn't a job i i have to differ with that and i don't know who said that but it seems like a job to me but anyways now, what are we gonna do what are our plans we have yep. we have a couple things we wanted to talk to him about aja yep. where's yep. aja at we I left her yeah. we got rid of her yeah. <laughs> aja stayed back um if you guys watch her you've already seen her last video which is um her moving over to the other site uh where everybody was at the cleanup in Ehrenberg. if you haven't seen it yet please go over and watch her she she does such an amazing job on her videos and she puts a lot of heart into that so um we left because why did we leave we it's wanted just to... windy and dusty and dirty yeah and i wanted to kind of be here at the casino because they were giving away a razor, <laughs> I know, and um, like two thousand draw dollar drawings every hour, and a four thousand dollar drawing, and a six thousand dollar drawing, and you know, I, I felt thought, lucky. I we thought. We thought that it would be funner to be here and nicer to be in an in a building instead of out in the cold. We kept thinking, okay, they're gonna have karaoke. Um, 
and a dinner, right? Dinner and everything, but it was just so cold that we thought, you know what, we just really wanted to be inside, and that's exactly what we did. We had a lot of fun. We met a few viewers in there. Yep. Um, la the last night's video that we talked to you guys on, Scott, we were telling you guys the story about Scotty having um, a funny incident with one of the viewers of who was winning that razor. I was talking about a gentleman and his wife who sat down next to us at one of the machines. Right. And I was telling you my side of that story. Scott was talking about a guy that he met in the casino before I got there. In line, when I was in line, before you were even down so, there, yeah. So the gentleman he was talking about is one of our viewers, and he was probably going, what is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, just two different people, but yeah, nobody won it that we knew. No. Um, Ed and Sue, who you guys may have seen on one of our videos at Ehrenberg, um, uh, no, no and, not Ehrenberg. Um, and Havasu. Havasu. Uh, they showed up here today, and and Ed said, don't worry about it. You can ride with me on my, my race. Said I can even drive it. a brand new one. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that might be a plan. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot cheaper anyways for yeah. me. <laughs> okay, so Aja wanted to stay there with her other friends. They were doing karaoke, and she loves that kind of, you know, partying atmosphere where there's lots of loud music and stuff, and we like to be inside. And <laughs> There's, loud music. <laughs> There's a little bit of an age difference between <laughs> us and Aja, so warmth always wins yeah, over for me. music. Yeah. Yeah. And they had good music down there. Um, and then she has something that she's going to do. So we won't meet, meet back up with Aja until after or until the RTR starts and we're all meeting um, in a certain area. So that's that's the deal. Yeah. It's not because we've split up with Aja or anything. We just all did our own little thing, and that's it. That is correct. We still love Oh, Aja. and something I noticed, too. Um, like to get straight. Carolyn had a... Carolyn... Oh. Um, Carolyn, I knew this Carolyn. Was come up. Well, somebody made a comment. Well, you're not with Carolyn. Our Carolyn's not with Aja and us or whatever. We're the best of friends. We yeah. don't have to be side by side. You know, there's a lot we of talk nasty rumors visit. out yeah, there. Yeah. A lot of nasty rumors. And we didn't get on, on here today to really talk about all that. But yeah, let's clear that up. Aja and Carolyn are friends. We are friends with Carolyn. All of us are still friends. And I don't know where some of these people come up with these, this nonsense. Carolyn is a wonderful person. And we've been friends since the day we met. And... That's all we're going to talk Aja, about there. Aja and Carolyn are still friends. There's Correct. Nothing, there's nothing going on, guys. Sometimes everybody splits up and does their own thing. This is the way life rolls. And our plans for the next few days. Yeah. So I'll let you explain what okay. we're going to do there. So Sharon wanted to go to our, uh, the women's RTR. Dana wanted to go to the women's TR, RTR. And I was kind of thinking about it. Um one of the things that was preventing uh, a few of us from going is we didn't think since we had partners uh husbands that we could go but we watched a video and they said that there is parking for couples so the guys have all agreed and the women <laughs> have all agreed and we're going to the women's rtr and we're going to go for a couple days so it will be myself sharon dana and I think Teresa and, and is going. Go. Teresa yeah. has been here. Yep. Um, our friend that was with us in Ehrenberg. And is um, RV Rebel girl? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if she is or not, but okay. we'll invite her too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we'll be there for a few days. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the women's RTR. We're leaving here tomorrow, and today is Wednesday. So we're leaving here tomorrow on Thursday and heading that way. Whether we'll get there tomorrow or not, I I don't know. We might camp outside of that area. Right. Um, so if there's any of the women there or even the guys, if you see Scotty or you see me and you guys want to visit, please come up and visit with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um. If our door's shut, though, maybe just wait till we come out. Yeah. <laughs> it it starts getting a little overwhelming when we've got knocks on the door on the door constantly. Um, we try to leave our door open uh, when we are, you know, not ready. working. Yeah, when we're not ready. When or we're naked. Ready. No. <laughs> I don't leave it open when I'm naked. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Let's see. 
yeah, we'll leave the door, we'll have the door open, or you'll know that we're here, uh, but it does, we've got, if we're going to the women's RTR, and then we're going to the RTR, Correct. it starts getting a little busy for us with people knocking on the door and, and wanting to talk, and we want to talk to everyone, but that, we do need a little bit of personal time. Scott does really well with... Um, lots of people for an extended amount of time. I, on the other hand, get a little bit drained after about two, three days, and I need to kind of um, mellow out a little bit. Meditate? Myself. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it kind of drains me, and I don't... I've talked to a good friend of mine, well, Teresa, actually, and she was saying that I probably take everybody's emotions and feelings in, and so it probably drains me a little bit. So that's one thing I've had to learn this year and, and last year of traveling is that I kind of have to step aside and take a little bit of a break or I can get, I get very emotional. It's <laughs> not cranky, just very emotional. And I just, and I get, and I'm very, I get very tired. So, yeah. Okay, so you guys know that about me. Scotty, he'll go forever. He's Until got, I fall asleep. He's got more energy than the <laughs> So if we're talking, all of a sudden you fall asleep, then you know that I'm done. So, okay. yeah, that's what we're going to go to the ones for a few days. Then I think we're going to go to the long term for a couple days. Okay. Just, and then while we're there, we were thinking of driving out to the area where the main RTR is going to be just to have a look for ourselves. Yeah. Um, everybody's put videos out there about how it is or whatever. Uh, honestly, I'm going off of what uh, Bob Wells is saying. He's the man in charge. He seems to know, obviously, what's happening. I just want to go out and have a look, see of, of what the area is and uh, check it out for the day and then probably go back for the night at, at the uh, long term because we have a pass. And... Um, then we will head out and more than likely we'd like to give kind of our location where we're yeah. going to be so people can come and camp with us and visit with us and uh, yeah, uh, the more the merrier for um, me I always feel. Yeah we've had a couple people, quite a few actually, people wanting to camp with us and wanting our location. We're going to go out like Scotty said, we're going to scout it out, we're going to see what's best. Um, I think there's just so much hype about it. You know, we have a truck, so we can get pretty much anywhere. We have four wheel trucks. Anywhere I anywhere. can get out there. But we also want to think about the people who are going and they want to visit with us. And um, I know we're not the star of the show, but there are people who are going that have really wanted to meet up with us, and we want to make that convenient for them uh, to do that. So let us get out there. Let us go into the area and see, you know, what's going on. We've watched plenty of um, videos of everybody driving in, driving out. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be down at the old uh, RTR Spot. location. I think that is probably what's going to happen. It's not that far of a walk to go to the other part and, you know... Now, if it's freezing, <laughs> if it's We're cold, right. yes, it's going to feel like a long walk and you might just not uh, want to do that. But, you know, if you're, if it's stopping, if you've been watching other videos and it's stopping you from going because you're seeing the, the road going in, don't let that stop you guys. Our, the no. area where RTR was held before is massive. It, there's going to be tons of people in that area, you're going to feel like you're at RTR. So don't let the road stop you from going in. Um, if your one reason for going to RTR is to go in that road and park right in the center where everything's happening, okay, yeah, that might be an issue. But if you're going to visit with other people, go to the seminars, learn some stuff, don't let that road stop you from going. No. No. Because it's really not that big of a deal. If you can't get into the road, there's plenty of room on the outside. Bob has said that over and over. You know, we're not, we don't watch Bob on a regular basis, but we have been checking in to see what he's saying and um, just so we can, you know, know what to expect as well. But we're just, we're not afraid. It's, no. If you no. go and you can't get down the road, 
turn back around, go into where the old RTR was, and you will have plenty of room and plenty of friends. Tons of people yeah, there. absolutely, absolutely. That location has actually been being talked about for the last couple months, you guys. It's this isn't really a new situation. There are people that were not going inside to the RTR to begin with, and they were all going to be camped out there. So, just come and have a fun time, and don't. Don't let that road stop you. No, I can't imagine traveling for I can't a couple hundred the, miles and then all, turning around. Yeah, no, I, no. I just I can't see. Um, there's so much controversy about this road. It's insane. Right. Yeah, it's it's crazy, guys. I mean, we we get comments and we get emails and private messages of, you know, there were semis out there last year, and and the other. Uh, like Bob said, the other place is just up the road a little ways. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure Saren, it's all going to be Sharon well. and Sal did a video last night or night before. I'm mm -hmm. not sure what day. Yeah. Yep. Um, and they're going to stay in the old RTR area as well. So, and Dana and Steve, I don't think that they can make it. Well, they can make it down the first two dips because I watched Carolyn's RV Life. Um because somebody had mentioned her where like I said we don't we don't really watch either one of those guys um do you I'm um, not sure I try to. Yeah, I try to keep, yeah. keep well informed on. Scott watches everybody. more YouTube than I do. I'm usually on the computer doing other stuff, but um, and then I'm listening in the background. But he watches a ton of YouTubers. <laughs> this is a guy who, when we first started, uh. Right before we went to a meetup with um, Aja and Carolyn and Eric and James from Wonderlust, Wonder, Wonderlust Mikey. Estates, yep. and Mikey from Living Free, yep. Scott knew none of those people, and he d had no idea what YouTube was. I didn't know what. Yeah, I didn't know what YouTube <laughs> he was. He had no idea what that was. So <laughs> he he was really new to the YouTube scene when we got into this, and now he. I'll tell you what, he's a great supporter for a lot of channels, so... Uh, Too much sometimes, yeah. no. Okay, <laughs> no. so the bottom line is we, we don't watch them on a regular basis, but we have been watching Carolyn's RV Life. We watched one of hers to, to get the update, and we watched how she went into that road, and it the first two portions are fine. I don't think Sal and Sharon would be able to get down even the first one, but they have a really big rig, you guys. Like a 35 foot so, fifth wheel yeah. or something. So. Okay, so let's get past that. Don't let that road freak you out. Just come on out there and we'll figure out where to put you. If, it, if it's totally freaking you out and you see Scotty and I, Come get us. We'll help you out. It's it's not it's not scary. No. It's not. No. Piece of cake. Yeah. Okay. What else? I actually have a little list here. What else were we gonna? I think that was it. RTR, the women's RTR, and Aja. Yeah. Why we're not? Yeah. I'm thinking if there was anything else that was so necessary. We did we decorate did. for you guys since we kind of did just mm -hmm. a really quick mm -hmm. New Year's thing. We we I had bought these at the dollar store and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and use them. I'll do that. Yeah. And we'll be back as soon as this is all done and said and the RTR is kind of over. We're going to get back on some traveling. There's a lot of places that we want to hit again that we were at last year. Um, and a lot of new places we want to go to. So our main focus was to be down here for the RTR, uh, meet up with all our friends that we met last year, and um, spend some time with them, and then get and go cruise back around. I think we want to go down towards Palm Springs. I want to go back to the Salton Sea because I have a, um, my naked buddies down there. <laughs> Not. I don't want to see the no, naked no. buddies. <laughs> um, and just go go. Do some more Yeah, not that we'll end up at those places, but we will be. We've had a few, not a whole lot. We've had a, a less than a handful of people say, "Well, you're a travel channel. Why aren't you out traveling?" And this and that. Well, we're waiting for events to happen, and that's why we came to Arizona. And this is our life. We just, um, you know, we're just showing you guys what we do on a daily basis, kind of. Maybe not every and day. And our plan but. was actually to have been in South Carolina, but everything got flipped around. Yeah. So. So at least it's warmer down here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. you know, if you don't if you don't like what you're seeing, you can always turn the channel off. <laughs> That's what I do when I don't like something. No. No. <laughs> um, here's another thing. We are talking about going live. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I. Um, 
I've done some research on it, and they say that, you know, a lot of people like when you go live because it's a lot of interaction and everything. So let us know what you guys think about that. We're a little nervous to do it. Um, I know we'll definitely need moderators, and we've got a few in mind. Should I have something that when I say a curse word, it could be like, <laughs> <laughs> He's getting better about that on camera. <laughs> I used to have to bleep him out all the time. Or, you guys probably didn't realize it, but I used to have to, like, edit out just little tiny words mm -hmm. here and there um yeah so we're thinking about going live and you know give us your feedback on that so we know if it's you know something you guys want to have us do or not yeah and then um i don't know maybe also say tell us you know what good times are for you guys because i noticed that when we go and watch um Okay, we watch Camo Dave. He's, you know, we we love Camo Dave. I know he's got controversy as well, but there's another thing. If I don't like what he's saying, if Scott doesn't, yeah. we can just turn it off. That's all we have to do. But we like Dave, and yeah. we watch um, BV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We watch Blame Views. Yeah. We actually spent the very. Um, we spent New Year's right as the clock oh, turned. Oh, that's right. We, for here. We yeah, were able to our time. log on. We, we looked for both of those guys' live chat, and yep. BB was doing one, and so we, we spent New Year's uh, on the end tail of that one. Um, but, Only because I, I was in there, and at 11.30 was their last call for everything. And I was kind of so bummed out. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be in the casino anymore when I didn't win anything. I was like, I'm out of here. There was one more drawing. He's like, yeah, yeah. no, I'm done. I don't care. I'm pouting. Huh? We were we were done and we were tired and we were hungry and we were like we were just done with yeah. it. Um, anyway, so what I was going to say is, let us know what time works good for you guys because um, I miss Dave's morning. Sat is it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, Dave. I right. I miss that all the time because it's really early when right. he's on. And BV's on Thursday nights. Yeah. So let us know so we can maybe arrange it so the majority of people right. can view it. Right. And and maybe what day also? <laughs> um, yeah. What well, day yeah. works for a lot of people? And then we'll kind maybe. Maybe I'll do a poll. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it that That'll way. That'll be work. That'll take a week. <laughs> yeah. If you don't see a poll, then just give us a comment and let us know what days work good for you and what times work good for you. I know we have a lot of people at home and we have a lot of people who um, can't get out and travel around. And so um, I figure that probably any time is uh, nice for them. But It's easy for know. us. Yep. <laughs> it okay. all works. I think that's it. All right. You well, done rambling? No, I can ramble on for another 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Not make any sense. Well, thanks again for spending uh, this part of the day with us. And hopefully, we kind of gave you a little bit of information on what's going on with us. And uh, hope to see you out at the RTR. Or anywhere. If you see us on the road, at the shopping mall, anywhere, always come up and say hello. You're always welcome. I always enjoy it. Terry always enjoys it. Um, so until then, yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it. Yeah, and then we'll let you guys know uh, about meeting up at the RTR. Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be soon. Okay. Peace Love out, everybody. Have a good one. <laughs>